Hi Aquarius, this is your February love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so the first card, well the first and the second card that flipped out for you guys is the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. So Aquarius, I feel like you're going to be getting some clarity on a situation that you're dealing with this week. With the Ace of Swords, um, it could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, such as yourself, or a Taurus with the High Priestess. So let's see where this goes. I feel like you're going to find something out, or you're just going to come to the conclusion that you understand what it is that you're going through and what you need to do about it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, you're coming out of... Um, with the five of wands, you're going to be coming out of struggles and, and strife and issues and problems. I feel like some of you are going to let something go. You're not going to worry about it. It could be with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Definitely. With the Leo. So if you're dealing with the Leo Aquarius and you're confused about where this connection is going, what it is that you guys are doing, I feel like you've made some changes in your life and you feel like this Leo needs to catch up to speed. Um, also, I feel like you're going to have the strength to deal with the situation. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's very bossy. Um, they have attitudes with you all the time. Or if you try to talk to this person, they could be very mean. Um, and they may not want to talk about what it is that's going on. Okay. With the Eight of Swords, I feel like sometimes you're like, should I stay or should I go? When it comes to this person, should I try to work this out with them? Or should I just let it be? And move on. And I feel like you get stuck there in that energy sometime, Aquarius. Just trying to figure things out. Oh, this card flew right out of the deck. Oh, wow. All right. So you have the full card. So some of you are going into a different direction. You're going to take a leap of faith. Some of you may be wanting to walk away from this situation. Or you may have your eye on someone else. Could be an Aries here. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Listen, you cannot make this up. Some of you are definitely thinking about if you if you haven't physically moved away from this person, Aquarius, you're thinking about it. You're definitely thinking about it. And if this isn't you feeling this way, because the roles could be reversed, this is your person feeling this way about you. So someone's thinking about walking away from the situation because it may no longer be working for you, or maybe it's something that you want that this person isn't giving you. It could be a commitment or a marriage or engagement or something you're like let's move things to a higher level and we do have the three of pentacles so i feel like this person's going to try to appease you they're going to try to compromise with you in some way but i don't know if that's going to be good enough for you aquarius some of you could be dealing with an earth sign a virgo taurus or a capricorn so we have the four of swords if you've been arguing with your person and not seeing eye to eye i see you guys are going to be healing you're going to be healing from that situation What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? What do they need to know about their situation? Mm -hmm. The Emperor. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. And you feel like this person wants to win and they want things their way. Now, when you think of the Emperor, you think of someone who rules empires, who is the boss. They don't see things any other way. Okay, They won't let their guard down. Um, it's like they rule with an iron fist. And so they could... You treat this relationship the same way and you may want this person to soften up and just tell you what they're feeling and thinking and I feel like this person holds back they may hold back a lot Sarah, what messages do you have for Aquarius what messages do you have for Aquarius you're feeling left out in the cold by this person you have the five of pentacles here you feel like something is lacking in this connection it's not um it's, it's not like this connection is not what you want it to be and I feel like you have years in with this person. Like, I feel like for some of you, you've been with this person for like six or seven years or even more, like possibly longer than that. And you're like, things should be progressing. And we have the Ten of Wands. So you feel like you're being betrayed or stabbed in the back or someone's not appreciating what you bring to the table. I feel like you do a lot for this person. Okay. Um, for some of you, I feel like you do a lot for their kids. 
so you may um babysit their kids while they work you know especially if it's their weekend or something like that or um you know you you financially help them support their kids in some kind of way it's something here where you do a lot and you feel like your back is breaking because um they don't appreciate you so it's bothering you physically and mentally you could be stressed out about it like trying to figure out like you know how to even stay in this connection and try to be happy Aquarius okay I tried to prevent that car from falling but it fell anyway give me one second mm -hmm. yeah the seven of cups so you're trying to make a decision and you don't know which way to go with this for some of you it's a water sign a cancer a pisces or a scorpio that you could be dealing with as well spirit what messages do you have for aquarius what does aquarius need to know about their situation and their person what is their person feeling and thinking all right so we have the justice card and we also have the eight of pentacles so I feel like your person may be working a lot because they have some sort of court situation that they're going through or dealing with Aquarius and it may be weighing heavy on the connection between the two of you. It could be something with child support court like um, did I just say child support court? It could be where they're taking someone to court for child support or someone is taking them to court for child support. And if this is not you, Aquarius, that's dealing with this, then this is your person. And they're just, they're like, they're focused on work. So I feel like they're not really focused on this connection. And that may be something that you don't know. And for those of you who do know it, you know that they're going through something with the justice card. You may feel like, I don't care, or you're tired of it. Um, it's taking precedence over you guys' connection. And you may feel like it's not fair and you know things like that but um this person is, is working they're trying to get their finances in order to deal with whatever this is with the justice card some of you also could be dealing with a libra spirit what messages do you have for aquarius what do they need to know about their person for some of you your person is definitely a leo for sure we have the hierophant and the hermit so do you want to be married to this person or you're waiting for this person to propose or um you're like this is the end of the um like this is the end of the line if you got if you guys don't get married you're thinking about walking away some of you you have a boy this is like a boy on this card by this person you may have a um a small child by them and it could be a boy but I feel like with the Hierophant card, Taurus energy, the Sun, Leo energy, and the Hermit, Virgo energy, you could be dealing with those astrological signs. If not, this situation is all about you pulling back Aquarius because you want some sort of commitment from this person. And that, like, that's going to make you happy if you get that. But if not, you feel like, you know what, I have to um, move in a different direction. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? I feel like some of you are fed up with a situation. Yeah. Two of Wands and the Page of Swords. So you're watching this situation. And I feel like a lot of things that you're feeling and thinking, Aquarius, you're keeping to yourself. And you're not letting your person know it. But um, I feel like you guys are going through something with them. And they're either watching you or you're watching them with the Page of Swords here. But there's some decision, some sort of decision that needs to be made. Some of you are definitely dealing with fire signs here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, an air sign such as yourself. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is what I, I keep seeing here. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aquarius person? What is Aquarius person feeling and thinking? We're going to pull some message cards as well. Mm -hmm. There's a tower um, here. So Aquarius... Uh, well, I said Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy. Sorry, Aquarius. So this is Scorpio energy, but I feel like something may be falling apart, or you feel like something is falling apart. You could have been arguing with this person. Maybe you guys just aren't talking right now. Um, you know, I feel like for some of you, you just woke up with an attitude because you had a lot on your mind, and you're like, you know what? I don't feel like talking about it. I don't feel like dealing with it. And your person could have felt the same way because it seems like something is falling apart here. 
something happened unexpectedly out of the blue you didn't see it coming and it's like you guys are not on good terms spirit what messages do you have for aquarius wow all right so i'm going to take the cards that turned over because it's too much it's too many that came out here okay i'll take these four so we have temperance the knight of swords we have the nine of swords and we also have the knight of pentacles someone is coming towards you really really slow could be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn doesn't have to be um with this knight of pentacles this person is taking their time coming in i do feel like they want to give you the commitment that you're wanting and that you're requiring from them but something is stopping them with the nine of swords energy they may feel like this is something that they can't deal with right now because they have other things on their plate we have um worry fear anxiety overthinking this person could be losing sleep because of something that you guys are going through and then something else that they're going through that they may be keeping hidden also i feel like your person may be suffering from mental health issues aquarius i'm not sure if you're aware of it um, and they may not want to take their medicine because their medicine doesn't make them feel good. It makes them feel kind of groggy and they need to get up and do certain things. And I just feel like they want to lay in bed all day. You know, I'm looking at this Nine of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this person, they find the strength from somewhere to get up and come towards you and, and try to give you what you want. But the universe is saying this, you're going to have to be patient with this person with the Temperance card here. Things are going to balance out at some point, but right now they're asking for you to be patient, okay? So some of you may feel like, you know, you don't have the patience for this, but, you know, I've got to tell you what the cards say. So let's pull some message cards for you guys and see what else the universe wants you to know. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What do you want them to know about their situation and their person? All right, so these two cards wanted to fall out. So we have the fifth dimension. The divine masculine energy is responding to the divine feminine energy and carrying out intuitive messages, soul level connection. Yeah, I feel like both of you guys are feeling the same thing, but you won't speak up on it. So like if you live with this person, just as an example, some of you may live with this person, some of you may not. It's like you're walking around the house and you're not speaking, you're not saying anything, but both of you are feeling the same thing. It's like you want to express your feelings but you feel like you can't you may feel like you're not going to be heard okay but something's going to um get fixed here with the fifth dimension so we have ego driven your twin flame could be stuck in ego that is keeping them unaware of who they really are as a soul this mask could be due to fears yes yeah, some of you you may be dealing with someone who's just too proud to talk okay their ego is in the way also, I'm picking up the energy like this person is like, you should know what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. You know what I'm going through. You know, you're here with me or you know my situation or something like that. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aquarius and their person? So we have highs and lows. Karmic love is often passionate and fiery one minute, cold and distant the next, usually representing unhealed aspects you are both working through. Some of you could be dealing with the karmic and you're trying to make something work and you guys don't understand that you have to, you have to understand that you guys are not always going to feel and think the same about things. So it's like you have to respect your person's differences and they have to respect yours as well. And I feel like if you're dealing with the karmic, this is the only way you're going to be able to make this work. Okay, is to know that um, things are not always going to be where you guys um, agree on things. So you may agree to disagree sometimes and, that, and that's fine. All right, so we have ghosting. It can be difficult to hear, but if someone is ghosting you and doesn't want to be with you, they are reflecting a lack of your own self-worth. And then we have no respect. There are times when you will feel disrespected and that doesn't have to be a deal breaker. But if it's a repeating pattern, perhaps it's time to walk away. So the universe is saying if you're feeling disrespected by your person, if they're ghosting you, whether you live with them or they don't live with you, you know, like if they're walking around the house and ignoring you and not saying anything to you, or it's like if you don't live with them, but they're just not calling you and, and you haven't heard from them and things like that. The universe is saying um, basically through these two cards, don't like suck up to this person you know let them know that what they're doing wrong don't take it 
and act like it's um and it's no no big deal because you know you should see it as a sign of no respect because they should be worried about your feelings if that's your partner spirit what messages do you have for aquarius your cards are coming out in twos here aquarius so we have so-called love the connection is so intense, it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities to avoid seeing the negative. Is it love you feel or an addiction? Possibilities. Their potential in this relationship, however... I'm sorry, I just read that wrong and I read it so fast. I'm sorry about that. It says possibilities. There's potential in this relationship. However, know that this could translate to being a project and it's up to you to decide if it's worth it. All right, so there's something here where it may be difficult for you guys. And um, you just, you're not getting along right now. And the universe is saying, is this something that you want to do? Maybe this is something that you need to think about. Okay, and don't just see the good in this person and then ignore the red flags. All right, so let's get one more. All right, Spirit said two more. Your cards is, like I said, flying out in Sue's. So we have separation. Separating from your soulmate can be painful, but let your pain be a catalyst for change. Go deep within yourself. So some of you are separated from this person and you're not talking to them and you're waiting to see like what's going to unfold or you're waiting for this person to call you or text you. Some of you, this person could live at a distance. I see this person looking out over the horizon. Also, um, you may have to cross water to see this person. So you may have to fly to see them or something. Maybe you're waiting for someone to say, listen, I'm going to come see you or I want you to come see me. Um, I feel like for some of you, if you're if this is a long distance connection, the only time you really get to see this person is like face, like uh, maybe FaceTime or Zoom or something like that. I just feel like you're waiting for more here, Aquarius. The intensity of the connection is very strong, deep and intense. It's so overwhelming, you may run from it. So I feel like for some of you, someone becomes distant and cold a lot and you don't get it. But I feel like this person loves you. They do really care about you. It's just that when things get intense, they run because they know that you're going to be looking for a commitment. And I feel like they're not ready to commit. They're just not ready to settle down. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Aquarius. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie to Rome. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.